fellow southern Cameroonians, Ambazonians, this is Capo Daniel again. The, parliamentarian, the parla parliamentary session was closed because they don't want to discuss the matter of the so-called anglophone problem. Why, do not, why don't they want to discuss this matter? The reason is simple. They don't want to discuss this matter because they don't respect you. They don't see Southern Cameroonians as citizens of La Republic du Cameroon. We are an annexed people. And what do you expect? The presence of our parliamentarians in that parliament is not to bring ideas. It's not to bring, represent us there. It is not for them to represent their constituency or to present debates topic or to have that same privilege that all parliamentarians have to give bring topics of debate bring motions to the table brings reads for the parliaments to have debate like other parliamentarians they do the parliamentarians rule in that parliament is to give justification for the annexation and colonization of our territory to continue the presence of our parliamentarians in that parliament is not different from the presence of la republic's parliament that was created in 1955 in france in france africa they also had parliamentarians who go to france they're going to france to do what there what could they do they just go sit down receive their money and come back the presence of our parliamentarian in that parliament is not different from the presence of our parliamentarian in onugu in nigeria their presence was just a formality you are not there to talk yes if you were thinking you parliamentarians of, La of Southern Cameroon, that you are there as a parliamentarian, you were deceiving yourself. If you were thinking that you were there to represent your constituency, you were deceiving yourself. Everybody walked away from you. The House Speaker, all your colleagues, including your CPD and colleagues, they walked away from you. And guess what happened? The journalists walked away from you. Even the journalists. You would expect that the job of a journalist is to report such an, a significant event. And all the journalists who were in that session were francophones. The francophones journalists, they are in complice with their government. To protect their own interests, they walk away from you. And what is your response? Will your response be you will go back and come back to that parliament? Don't you have dignity? to recognize what is happening to your people yes Pafrundi has been blocking the parliamentarians from grouping themselves as anglophones if SDF has any dignity in them it is time for them to withdraw that justification they are giving to that parliament an objection in the parliament and they will walk away from you the parliamentarian walk away from you the journalists walk away from you it is a message for you to open your eye and see that we are there in that parliament to justify the continuation of this system. That is the only reason you are there. That is the only reason you are made a parliamentarian. And will you continue to learn yourself? If you continue to go back to that parliament, you are betraying our people. You are selling us cheap. You are selling us cheap because you are going there subsequently not to represent us because you cannot represent us there they have shown you that you cannot represent us there so why should you go back to the parliament the most reasonable thing you can do if you have any dignity is to withdraw from that parliament and reconstitute in boya following the instruction of ayuk tabi the president of the federal republic of ambazonia that is the only thing you can do apart from that Anything you do, you are doing it for yourself and you are doing it for poor beer. For a long time, this struggle has been going and we have been losing the narrative both in the international media press and at home because somehow the SDF, its parliamentarians, its national chairman have been avoiding to talk about the truth, to take their responsibility. Yes, SDF is part of the problem because it has failed in assuming its responsibility to, uh, to articulate and identify the problem. Irrespective of the, the, their position, whether they are in support of restoration or not, 
it is okay for SDF to take a position that they are for federation. But it is their responsibility to acknowledge that the majority of their constituencies are demanding for independence. The failure to do so is accomplished to the murdering and the manning and the killing and the raping that is going on in southern Cameroon. What is the problem of having a debate? Why is it so hard, hard for you to stand up and say, okay, yes, the problem is the people of the southern Cameroonians, they want independence. The debate should be, do the people have the right of self-determination? Do they have the right to ask for independence or not? Have that debate. What are you so afraid of? Your money, your power, your fame, poor beer, francophones, you are afraid to lose face, you are afraid to lose support from the Bamele case and the, the Basa who was killed by the same people who are in power in La Republic du Cameroon. If you are so afraid to say that this is a problem of restoration, this is a problem that the people of Southern Cameroon are claiming that they were annexed and colonized. If you are afraid to speak this truth, you yourself, you are an accomplice when you seek to benefit in the political system. At the same time,